got stuck. Damn. There we go. Windows is picked. If anyone can open the door. Ooh. Uh, shit. Look. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's snowing so much. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Let's go. Gosh. You're so demanding. <laughs> oh my gosh, Cookie. You're funny. You're a funny dog. Cookie. What's wrong with your face? Look at me. Oh my gosh, cookies all over your face. Wow. Yes. Cold pizza. Thank you. Here we go, baby. <laughs> It's funny, I don't even like pizza, but how many slices did I eat last night? I don't know, the whole thing. <laughs> how many slices did you have? Two. Okay, how many slices does it count with? Eight? Eight. Eight? Damn. We had five. I don't eat pizza like that. Mm -mm. This is good, babe. Extravaganza? Mm. They don't have a supreme. That's what they call it. No, super supreme. Damn, it's super slippery over there too. What? Oh. Oh shit, the car. Entrance. And it's just a big cruise without it. Stop looking at me like you that. Like let me see if you can see me better this way. Okay, this is better. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. This is Erin. 안녕하세요, 여러분. Erin입니다. So as you can see, today is another snow day. Samshige also has a snow day today. So he's staying home. He's actually working in the living room. So I came to our little office. Um, and right now, as you can see, I'm doing some gua sha because ever since COVID, I lost so much weight. I mentioned this about my other video, but I lost about 15 pounds in like a week and a half, which is good. I need to lose weight anyway, but it wasn't the healthiest way to lose my weight. I, I lost weight because I couldn't eat. First, I couldn't smell, I couldn't taste anything. Uh, but later on, all I could taste was straight up bitterness. Like everything was so bitter. And that kind of killed my appetite. And it's still like that. I eat here and there, but, but I don't have cravings like before. I'm not trying to control my portions, but I can't really eat a full meal. Damn. Yeah, That's wild to me. Like if you know me, you know how much I love to eat. I usually eat like more than one serving per meal. But I can barely finish like one serving nowadays. Damn. Yeah, um, because of that, I can feel like I can see clearly my smile lines, underbacks, dark circles, the loose skins on my neck. I need to start doing gua sha every day but guess what i used to do this like religiously when i do this daily including my body gua sha i see huge difference like a more glow on my face my face is more pumped i can definitely feel a difference in the texture of my skin so it gives me more glow for sure the fir more firmness and all that like it makes my skin feel revived you know but when you do facial gua sha make sure you're not like uh, pulling your skin no like you're not supposed to leave bruise or anything do it like do it firmly but you don't need to like push it down like just very lightly very lightly especially around the eyes it's a very delicate area so be very gentle oh my gosh 
I can just fall asleep like this. My class has started, so I've been doing a lot of schoolwork and it's been causing a lot of tension around my neck. I feel very stiff, but you can already see the difference, like for real. When you do this lymphatic uh, drainage, make sure you go gentle all the way top behind your ear and then bring them down to your neck. Like that. One more time. Like this. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. All done. So I'm gonna get to cooking. <clears throat> this week we're going to have some lasagna and denjang jjigae, soybean paste soup. I'm gonna make healthier version of lasagna since I can't really have beef. So I'm gonna use ground chicken instead of ground beef. So uh, today is a Friday. Uh, we can have this meal for at least like four days. I'm trying to be more conscious about grocery shopping since it's, it's getting too expensive. In Texas, we used to spend about like three to four hundred a month. That's including buying other organic products. Over here, like nothing has changed. We're still eating the pretty much the same thing, uh, the same organic stuff. We, we've been spending about two hundred dollars a week. I mean, so this month I've been trying to spend no more than hundred dollars a week. So from spending about eight hundred dollars to thousand dollars a month to like four to five hundred dollars a month. That, that's, that's a huge difference, right? So these two are budget meal for this week and it only cost me around like fifty dollars for everything. So I will show you how I make a healthier version of lasagna. It's very convenient. You can just bake the whole thing, like whole pan, portion them, freeze them. When you reheat it, it still tastes the same. Let me prepare ingredients and let's get to it. Alrighty, these are the ingredients. I actually like to make my own tomato sauce. But today I bought the one that's already in the jar. You can choose whatever the pasta sauce or tomato sauce that you like. I choose to use this one today. And here's your lasagna noodles. You can use the oven ready one or you can use the one that has more protein uh, or gluten free, like whatever, like whichever you want. And I got my ground chicken, one onion, huge tablespoon of minced garlic, cotta cheese, mozzarella cheese, parmesan and romano cheese. And if you want to make traditional way, you can also use some besamel sauce. I'm gonna skip that part because I don't have a milk to make the sauce. And I will show you guys how to make the other version next time. Um, an Italian seasoning, some bay leaves. If you don't have Italian seasoning, you can mix basil, thyme, oregano, marjoram, rosemary, and sage. Or you can just skip it if you don't feel like it and some white mushrooms, that's about it. Before I prepare the ingredients, I'm gonna start boiling the water and preheat the oven. This is the pot I normally use to boil my lasagna. And this is the baking pan that I'm gonna use for my lasagna. And also this, it depends on how much you're making it and your preferred shape. You can also make square, oval, doesn't matter. To preheat the oven, I'm gonna set it to 350 and let's prepare all the ingredients. You know, I've been using this knife for almost what? Eight years now. It's my favorite. It's my baby. So the tips on preparing mushrooms. You don't really need to wash mushrooms because they don't use a pesticide or anything like that. Soil, dirt and stuff, like the debris, you can easily just brush them off, use damp cloth or wet paper towel, gently wipe it. The reason why you don't wash mushrooms is because when you wash it, the mushrooms tend to be mushy. I'm gonna use a paper towel, I just wet it, and all you need to do is just like clean it. You can take the stem off if you don't want it, but when I make lasagna or pasta, I still like to use them. I'm only gonna cut like the end part of it. And then 
just try to slice them as thin as possible. Mushrooms are done. Next, I'm going to chop the onion. Peel it and then cut it in half this way. So it depends on the size of onion. I cut it once or this one is a little bigger so I, I cut it twice. About like right here. After that, you're gonna slice this way. And then chop. Okay, now the water starts to boil. I'm gonna put a generous amount of some salt. And then for lasagna noodles, I need nine of this. Perfect. Make sure you don't overcook the lasagna noodles. Usually it's between 9 to 11 minutes. I'm gonna cook mine just for 10 minutes. Alexa, set the timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. And now it's time to prepare the sauce. Just plop the biggest saucepan you have. Does any of you guys interested in using like stainless steel pots and pans? But scared that you're gonna burn everything every time you cook something, especially like making eggs and stuff like that? Let me know. Maybe I can show you guys how to use them properly. Okay, so my noodle is done. Alexa, stop the timer. And just to dump the water, put a little bit of olive oil. And put it on the side. Okay, let's prepare the sauce. Olive oil and then... It smells good already. And then you're gonna add your protein. Sizzle with the salt and some Italian seasoning. I don't like when my food is too herby, so just do it as you desire. When your meat is almost cooked, add mushrooms. When mushroom is all cooked, add your choice of tomato sauce or pasta sauce. Add bay leaf, close the lid, lower the heat, and cook it for about 10 minutes. You see how it looks a little bit like watery? It's okay. I see a lot of people having problems because their lasagna is too dry. So I like to make my sauce a little bit watery. It looks a little bit soupy, but it's okay. Trust me. It is okay. Turn off the heat. Take the bay leaves out. So first, try to get the juice out of this sauce and put it on the bottom. This will prevent burning the bottom of your lasagna. It can be very shallow. Just make sure it covers the bottom of your pan like this and then we're gonna add lasagna noodles one two three four scoops of sauce flat it out make sure it covers your lasagna noodles once this is done we'll add some ricotta cheese Cover it with a mozzarella cheese and then we'll put some parmesan cheese and we're gonna repeat this process two more times, okay? Okay, this is gonna be the last layer.
I'm gonna use the whole sauce. But if you have a leftover sauce, you can freeze the sauce or you can use it for like quick pasta dish. We are going to cover this with a foil. And it's gonna go in the oven. Just remember 30, 15, 5. So we're gonna cover this and cook it in the oven for 30 minutes. And we're gonna uncover and cook it for another 15 minutes. And then we are going to broil for five minutes. My lasagna is in the oven, it's cooking right now, and it's 1.16. I have to take the dogs out. I'll be right back. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes. We're gonna uncover this. We're gonna cook this for another 15 minutes. These people from Metro, they've been doing this all night, all day. But, but once they're done here, they have to finish this too. It's a lot of work. So it's been 15 minutes. We're gonna take lasagna out. Wow! It smells so good. Ooh, you see this? I'm gonna put some parsley on top. Change this to broil. Alexa, set the timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. But make sure you check it every like a minute or two because when you broil something, especially cheese, it's so easy to burn. Okay, it's been five minutes. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Doesn't it look good? Mm -mm -mm. It smells so good right now. I recommend to wait before you slice them to serve because if you try to cut it right out of the oven, you're most likely to ruin the shape of a lasagna. So wait about like 20 minutes, cool down a little bit. Oh, it smells so good. I cannot wait. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. I'm gonna make eight pieces. So. Damn, I almost f***ed it up. about that do you remember how it was a little soupy but look the noodle actually soaks up all the sauce and it stays juicy Sammy likes his with hot sauce I brought you hot sauce too oh, good there. Uh, you know we sleep on the bathroom say please please he's asking for it Thank you. Mm. Mm. It's my turn to eat too. Put some more cheese on top of it. Mm. When you make this with the chicken, it's as good as ground beef. If you're on a diet, you're avoiding red meat, please try. Mm. You know what? I use hot sauce. Have you tried this hot sauce? It's black truffle infused hot sauce and they have so many different kinds. If you see this, if you like truffle, please try. Mm. And this one goes really good with pizza and fried eggs and with the lasagna. So good. 
<clears throat> it's not heavy compared to the traditional beef lasagna. This is so good. So right after I finished my food, look at my camera. My card was full. The dinner was successful. My husband loved it as well. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my video today. And I'll be back with another video soon. Until then, peace.